Hey guys, welcome back. This is Ramesh from Java Guides. So in this video, we are going to implement Spring Boot application context tutorial. So in this video, I want to show you two different ways to get an application context object in Spring Boot application and how to retrieve a bin from the application context. All right. So this is a one of the common requirement for Spring developer to, you know, get an application context object in a Spring application or a Spring Boot application and retrieve a bins from the application context. All right, so let me give an overview of application context. So the application context is a central interface within a Spring application for providing a configuration information to the application. Context interface provides a get bin method to retrieve a bin from the Spring container. All right, so application context represents the Spring IOC container and is responsible for instantiating, configuring, assembling the bins. The container gets its instruction on what objects to instantiate, configure, and assemble by reading configuration metadata. The configuration metadata is represented in XML-based configuration, Java annotation-based configuration, or Java-based configuration. All right. So let me create a Spring Boot application, and I want to show you two different ways to get application context object in Spring Boot application. So I am in a Spring Tools with ID. Now I will create a Spring Boot application. Go to the File New and Spring Starter Project. And here is a Spring Initializer tool. So we can use this tool to quickly create a Spring Boot application. So give a name as Spring Boot. So let me give a name as Spring Boot. Uh, application context tutorial all right and here keep my main as it is packaging jar language java java origin 8 and once you are happy with the details hit next and here we are not going to pick any spring boot starter dependencies because i am going to just demonstrate how to use application context object in spring boot application all right so hit finish so this will create a spring boot project here okay great so the first way is uh, using uh, application context aware interface all right so let me list out the different ways that i'm going to show you is so the first way is implementing application context aware interface okay and the second way is using field injection so we basically inject uh, application context object directly using at wire annotation okay and I highly suggest you to use uh, this approach implementing application context aware interface because field injection is not recommended by uh, various resources including spring boot team as well so you know, i i can suggest you to use this approach okay so i will i'm going to demonstrate both the approach but uh, i highly suggest you guys to use this way this approach or this way to get an application context object in spring boot application all right so let me show you the first way so let's create a spring component so let's create a class and name it as a message all right and inside a message let's create a method which will return a hello world string all right great so let's annotate this class with the add component annotation so that this car and this will be auto scan during component scanning now this is the spring component so that it will be automatically scanned during component scanning now let's go ahead and let's create uh, one more class and let's name it as a application context provider and let's go ahead and let's implement the interface the interface name is application context aware all right and this will provide a method to override it 
and this is the set application context method we need to override and we need to get this application context object so let me declare a variable here application context variable so application context application context here and we just and here we just assign application context object all right and let's provide a get application context method here that's it so we get here we have overridden set application context method and we are just assigning this application context object to the uh, you know this context application context and here we are providing a get context application context method to retrieve application context object okay now in a main spring boot application class let's go ahead and let's auto wire auto wire application context provider okay and here i will just implement a command line runner interface which will provide a run method to run the block of code during application initialize so here i will just get a message being from the application context so for that i will just call a get application context method here and i will just call a get bin and here i will provide a message class name that's it now i got a message bin here just i will print a message so i will call a get message method so that it will print a message to the console all right so uh, here i am just running the spring boot application and let us see the output mm, it giving me the error so let me explore what is the error okay so here i need to provide add component annotation here because uh, once we make it a spring component so that we can auto wire it all right so now we have annotated this class with add component annotation so that we can auto wire here and this component will be automatically scanned during class path scanning all right so now this should work so run, run again yeah here we go so hello world message is printed on the console it means that we have successfully you know implemented application context aware interface and we got application context object and here we retrieved a bin from the application context object all right so this is the first way and this is the recommended way and the second way is field injection so what i will do is i will directly inject application uh, context object here let me add wire private application context application context okay so what i will do i will just replace this method with application context that's it uh, i got a bin from the application context using get bin method here so that's it just run the spring boot application yeah here we go the output is printed on a console so these are the two ways to get application context object in a spring boot application so this is uh, one of the common requirement for spring developer uh, to you know get application context object in their spring application and get or retrieve some of the bins from the application context all right so uh, i have used this logic in my spring boot or spring applications and uh, i can suggest you to use this approach implementing application aware interface and you can just you know you can just create a class which implements application context aware interface and here from the set application context you can get application context object and you can provide a getter here and you need to make this class as a component so that it can be auto wired anywhere in the application like this and you can get uh, application context object by using this object application context provider all right it's pretty easy so i hope you find this video useful 
so subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i will publish a new videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in the next video